Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see a very important topic of business intelligence that is architecture of BI and how the architecture is divided. So this diagram, which will explain you the exact architecture of business intelligence. This diagram or this architecture is divided into three tiers. First tier consists of operational system and external data. This is called as a tier 1. Then tier 2 consists of data warehouse and ETL tools. So I can say this is my tier 2. And in tier 3, we have individual databases like logistic database, marketing database, performance evaluation database, etc. So these tiers are perform exact operation in business intelligence and give you the analysis to take a proper decision. Now we'll go with the one by one. The first tier one that is operational system with external data. We can say it as a data source. So this data source is nothing but, or we can say in this tier one, what exactly it performs. It takes the data or the requirement and the gathering of the customer from heterogeneous data systems. It can be the internet, it can be the different books, it can be the newspaper, any article type blogs etc from that the data get extracted and get used for the business intelligence so that this data is a heterogeneous type then most of them are for the operational sources also they have some unstructured data that can be emails or that can be any extension files second Tier 2 that is also called as a data warehouse and data mart. As the name says data warehouse and data mart, that means the whatever heterogeneous data we get from the tier 1, we are arranging that data with a proper format and we can give it to the taking the decision. So I give you one example like consider a supermarket. When you enter into the supermarket, the, all the products are properly arranged in the market or the mart. So you don't need to concern to the, any of the employee that this product is where and this product is where. You can just walk out and you will get each and every product properly. That is arranged in a proper manner that you don't have to rush here and there. So that thing we can do in tier 2 with the help of ETL tool that is extraction transformation and loading tool so first we extract the data transform the data and load it for the further usage so using etl tool this heterogeneous data from a different resources are get stored in a proper structure manner in a database for the supporting of a business intelligent decision now take a tier 3 Tier 3, we can say it is a one of the business intelligence methodology where we actually apply a proper methods or a proper uh, models, analysis methods or analysis methodology for making a decision. Through that, we can take a decision and that decision is uh, accurate because we having a structured format of data. Next, we have a BI methodology. This is a bar where we are having a each and every component in a down to bottom to up manner. So we follow bottom up manner where the first pyramid first data source says a data source where we actually having the operational data a document or the external data. Then in the second layer, 
we are getting the data in a data warehouse or a data mart format right? that's what we said the, like we can get the data in a multi-dimensional queue format where we can arrange the data as per our proper methodologies in a third layer we are getting the data in a statistical analysis and a visualization so we can say exploration of a data so we can analyze the data what is required what are the uh, what are the parameters we have what we can do with that we can visualize it using the different different charts and etc next level is data mining where we actually deal with a model for learning from the data next level fifth level is used for the optimization where we can search for the different different alternatives like this if this is not fact then this can be done if this is not a possible then this can be done so we can find a different different options to take a proper analysis and the last layer that is the topmost layer will give you the decision that is a perfect decision which we can make while using a business intelligence so this is a one of the pyramid which we follow while designing the business intelligence model next is a departments of enterprise concerned with the business intelligence so what are the different uh, departments we concern so we having a supplier supplier will provide you the data in the enterprise resource planning after getting the data in a proper planned format we give the data to the customer right but for that you have to perform the logistic, some of the accounting control and some of the marketing of sales. Then only you give the data to your customers. Next is cycle of business intelligence analysis. This is a cycle format. It never ending process. You have to go and go while performing a business analysis. So the first we can say we analyze the data inside the data and take a decision so first we evaluate the data then analyze the data work with the data and then we take a decision so this is a cycle of business intelligence so we'll go one by one first is analysis during the analysis phase it is very necessary to recognize and accurately spell out the problem at a hand so through the analysis we can recognize that what is exactly the issue in your data an insight is the second phase allows the decision maker to better and more deeply understand the problem at a hand often at a casual level third is a decision during the third phase the knowledge obtained as a result of insight phase is converted into the decision and subsequently action has been taken evaluation in a fourth phase, the business intelligence cycle involves the performance measures and the evaluation. Through that, we can judge that is the decision is accurate or not. So in this video, we have seen a very important topic of business intelligence, that is the architecture of business intelligence and the cycle, which is never ending cycle of a business intelligence analysis. Thank you.